You live in a physical body that is very hot at this moment. Holy smokes. Okay, let me turn on some air here. All right, let's get started. I did not know what my life purpose was until I stumbled over it. I had spent 20 years in the entertainment industry questioning why I did why I did. It didn't give me much joy, fulfillment, a sense of purpose. I just sort of did it because I was somewhat good at it. You may recognize that. You might be in a career, in a job that you somewhat is enjoying or it's all right. Things are humming along, but you feel that there's more. You feel that your soul is calling for more and you can't really put a finger to it. You don't really know what it is. Your soul is urging expression with and through you. You are a tri-human being. You live on three planes at the same time. You're a spiritual being, you live in a physical body and you're gifted with a mind and intellect. That spiritual side of you is always urging expression on the physical plane. You want to see more, do more, experience more because your soul, most likely made an agreement with itself before coming here about something you are going to experience, express, enjoy, earn, etc. That is in harmony with your life purpose. So for 20 years, I performed magic. It was a hobby. I loved it. At one point when I was younger, it became a career, but it wasn't really fulfilling. So one day I was in front of the audience, like I always was, and I asked myself, what difference did this make? Well, they asked themselves the question, how did you do the trick? And you know, that would have been fulfilling enough for most magicians, but it wasn't for me. I kept asking myself, what did they get out of it? I had studied personal development for a while, and I realized at that point I could bring both worlds together. So my point with that story is everything in your life has been essential to take you to your life purpose, closer to expressing your life purpose. You will receive a technique today that will help you uncover it very clearly. This is so important. Definitely, if this is all you get from the video, make sure you execute on it. It can change your life. I want you to imagine this pyramid and there's three layers to it. In the bottom, is your life purpose. Once you become aware of it, it does not change. The reason why you get up in the morning and do what you do. In the middle is your vision for your life. That is how you take the life purpose and unfold it to the world and bring it out. It could be through a business, it could be through some other avenue that has to do with contribution. At the very top is a goal. It's a very clearly described event for an outcome that is a part of your vision. Your goal is a statement from yourself to yourself that your subjective mind can accept. It is always written in present tense and it describes a picture. In my case, our vision for my company is to bring personal transformation and magic together in the world's first experience, Real Magic Live, which we have done, which is an award-winning event at this point that we have facilitated in multiple different countries and we're going to keep expanding on that. That's the vision. At the very top of that is how many people we're going to help, how much revenue we're going to drive from that event, etc., etc. I want you to close your eyes for a moment. Actually do this. You might think that's silly. Do it anyways. So as you have your eyes closed, envision a picture that is hanging at the Louvre Museum in Paris. It's painted by Leonardo da Vinci. I want you to imagine that picture in your mind's eye. See that on the screen of your mind. All right, now you can open up your eyes again and you can say, well, what's the point? I'll get to it. Van Gogh once said, I dream my painting and then I paint my dream. Now you have a goal, hopefully set, that is derived from your life purpose that we're going to bring out into the world. And when you describe that goal with a very succinct picture, eventually your Mona Lisa will be shown very clearly to the world in the form of your goal. So what are some of the challenges that you might experience if you're not living your life on purpose and you're not aligned with your higher self? Well, one of the main expressed effects of not living your life on purpose is certainly not having energy. The truth is you're nothing but energy. We don't get energy from anything. We release energy. And the more you are aligned with your life purpose and your higher self, the more energy you release. There's 20 million kilowatt hours per pound of potential energy in the cells and the atoms in the body. So there's enough energy in you than what's required to light up the city that you live in for over a week. So you release it. And if you don't live your life on purpose, you won't release as much. You will find you don't have energy. You 
might find that the days are long. You might find that one day takes the next. You might also find, unfortunately, some illness. I believe after having worked with thousands of people, over tens of thousands of people actually at this point, that 60 to 70 percent of physical ailments starts in the mind. And if you're not living your life on purpose, you certainly will experience what I call a misalignment between the conscious mind, the subconscious mind and the body. And that misalignment can only express itself in one way and that is with and through the body. Everything that you enjoy, everything that you gravitate towards without any friction typically has to do with your life purpose. And what's essential when it comes to your life purpose is that you don't find it, you uncover it. It's already there. And if you tell yourself you're going to find it, you're also implying that it's a process that happens through your senses. It will never happen through your senses. That's not where the solution comes from. It comes from within. So the more you go inward and stay with that question, what would I absolutely love, the more you're going to get some answers that might surprise you and the exercise might take you far out of the box. That is good. You see, your life purpose always has to do with other people. It is not just for your own personal benefit. When you go from me to we, everything changes. When you go from accumulation to contribution, everything changes. My life purpose is to help millions of people globally lead better, richer and more fulfilling lives. That life purpose has not changed since I developed it, since I uncovered it. And the technique that you can execute on to uncover it is to take a piece of paper, write two columns. In one column, you write all the skills, everything that you've developed in your commercial career, in school, everything that you have become good at. In the other column, you write everything that you like to do, hobbies, interests that you have, things you can't help but execute on, listen to. In my case, that would have been personal development. I was really good at magic and I had a hobby for personal development. Once we have gone through this process, you have effectively aligned yourself with your higher self, with the higher side of your personality that is here to express itself in bigger and greater ways. Don't settle for what you think you can do. Make sure you go for what you really really want. This is not a trial run. You have a precious life. The fact that you're here watching this is a miracle. The odds of this happening right here, right now in this time is one to 400 trillion. That is the odds of you and I experiencing this moment together. So that in and of itself is a miracle. And one of the things you can do also to get a little clear on your life purpose is to look at your core values as a person. They often also will reveal to you what your life purpose might be comprised of. Let me know in the comments what you think of this, how you intend to put it to work. This is Anders Hansen. Bye for now.